giving y'all an update. I know I didn't did like five update videos, but you know, that's how life rolls. So, I am going to be uploading videos this week because my schedule is kind of back to normal. So, my normal work schedule is from 7 to 4. I've been working 7 to 5, 7 to 6 because of my doctor's appointment so when I have a doctor's appointment I have to make up my time if I don't want to lose my vacation time and I'm saving up my vacation time for the planner conference in August so that's that so I'm trying not to lose it and then I'm trying to get overtime on Saturday so that means I'm working on Saturdays so I've been working a lot I've been overwhelmed by um parenting right now because my child is going through this like clingy phase i don't know what's going on but i'm trying to figure it out and i'm just trying not to overwhelm myself so i'm like sitting at home like i want to do a video but this arp is gonna act right while I'm doing this video kind of thing. So I am gonna do my plan with me tonight when I get off work. I get off at four today. So today is a kind of normal week. So I'm only working to five two days because I have an appointment in the same town I'm in. So I'm only gonna be missing like two hours. So that's that's good. Um so I want to do my plan with me for May today and probably my weekly plan for this week today. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be talking through the whole thing or not, but yeah, I'm doing those. And then I probably can't talk because I'm not going to, I'm not going to get RP. I just don't like when it's like dead space in between like while I'm doing stuff, but if y'all like it, I love it. So, then, what was I thinking about? I, for March, I had a written budget, but I, I wasn't looking at it good. I think I got budget fatigue for the last, like, two months. So, March, I think I was kind of okay. But I'm still going to do my review video. And then... Hold on. I got to turn this heat down. And then for April... Dum Dum. I filled out my budget. But I didn't do the allocated spending sheet. Which is the last sheet where it tells you what money comes from. What payments come from which, which checks. Screw that all up. So... And then I was looking at this morning and I was like, okay, I still got to get my phone card. So that's $47 and I still got to pay my water bill, which is $30. So that should be $77 I have remaining, right? So I click on the remaining tab and it says like $20. And I'm like, and that's what I've been going off of, like hitting the remaining tab, looking at that total and saying, okay, this is how much I need in my account to pay the remainder of my bills. It's not even accurate. Like... I don't even know why it's not accurate, but yeah, that's why you need a paper. You need a paper budget. Cannot trust electronics. So I was trying to not get stressed out because that allocated spending is rough. I was supposed to do my budget Saturday. And what did I do Saturday? We went to, we had a thing in town called Troy Fest where they have like an arts festival. I took Arpa to that and then I was just kind of cleaning the house so I never did do the budget I was going to do it last night which I started on it for May but I think I'm going to have to start over because I didn't pay it first of all but I just did the first two sheets but I don't know I just don't want it like marked out and stuff right on the side I just want it neat so I'm probably going to do it over so um because I'm not I got to get back on track I had to start back watching my budget girl so she can get me re-motivated. And I was just like, oh. And then I keep having like 
these little small things telling me I need to go ahead and start my business, which I didn't want to do. First of all, because I'm already overwhelmed. I didn't want to add anything to that. I'm already going to the therapist twice a month. And then I've been to the psychiatrist because I had that breakdown. He had me start a new medicine. So I had to come back like the first time I had to come back in three weeks. The second time I had to come back, no, first time I had to come back in two weeks. The next time I had to come back in a week. And then this time it's two weeks. So I don't see him like four or five times. So it's like I'm constantly going there. So it's only been like, yeah, it's like four times in the last month. So it's a lot going on. And then I have to make up that time at work. So, I don't have to make it up. I can use my vacation time, but I'm not using my vacation time. So, um, I'm just trying to take advantage of the overtime because I know it's not always going to be there. They're not going to give it to us. But, um, I need to actually use the overtime for what I need to be using it for. So, I am going to do, like, a financial update as well because that has changed. I got an email today that I need to like renew my um, loan. I think it was Friday. Renew my like loan information. So it's probably gonna be put off again to next year because I still, I made less than I did the last time I filled it out, I think. So, um, I had to think that I was really proud of myself regardless of how I've been slipping up like this last month about I'm proud of myself because I went from multiple debts to just three. So credit card, two credit cards, and my student loans. That's something that I should be proud of because normally I would have like a, a doctor bill here, a doctor bill there. Come to find out with my dentist, um, I, th I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but they thought they covered 50% but they actually covered 70% so I got 200 something dollars back from them but the 200 something dollars I got back from them I used to pay my final sprint bill so that worked out and so I'm kind of worried now about the doctor's bills that I'm getting from the psychiatrist because counseling you know I pay $40 or whatever just flat so it's not that bad I already know what I gotta do psychiatrist I just got a bill for the first appointment they charged me 135 um the total was <clears throat> the total appointment amount was 190 they charged me 135 and then the second appointment they charged me 130 but I have to pay 35 dollars so I have a 35 dollar bill 135 dollar bill a $43.71 bill from lab work from my regular doctor's appointment, $59 from my doctor's appointment, from the follow-up appointment I had, and then I'm pretty sure I have like two more bills coming from the psychiatrist. So, I need to figure all that out. The new medicine I'm on, it costs $68, no, $63. I'm not happy about it. Um, I've been using my HSA card for medicine and so I basically use half of it for medicine. Oh I use it for medicine if it's money on it. So which is not good because that means it takes away from counseling. That means the counseling has to come from my actual budget. So I need to look at because before my my medicine was like ten dollars, so I didn't really have to worry about it. Like I just put ten dollars down and know I have to go get my medicine. But now because I'm changing medicines, I don't. I have two new medicines, so the sixty three dollar one, and then they all don't like refill at the same time. The sixty three dollar one, and then I can't even remember how much the other one is. It might be like twelve dollars, something like that. So I just need to figure that out. So I don't mess up my budget and I still have my medicine because I need my medicine so <clears throat> a lot going on but we're going to keep it together we're going to get this budget together back together and go get remotivated 
because my goal is to pay at least double the minimum on my Capital One card, which is my lowest debt, other than my daughter's bills that's coming in. Um, pay at least double every month of what my minimum payment is. So right now, I can pay double next month from what I'm looking at, but that's um, with paying off the one bill that's like $43 or something for medical. We get three paychecks next month, so. Um, that's what paying the medical $43. And so, next month, I don't know how it's gonna shake out, but we're gonna figure it out. So, that's the update. I'll talk to you guys later. Well, tomorrow, y'all have my plan with me. So, y'all let me know what y'all been up to. Ask me some questions or whatever you want to do below. And I miss you guys because y'all haven't really been commenting on my videos. So, it's like I'm just talking to myself. So, y'all leave a comment. Bye.